Hello guys and thank you for coming back to my channel. Today's video is about how you can use developer tools to somehow control the input on some websites and hack the result. I must mention the fact that this is possible only when the validation between the client and the server is not done properly or at all. Honestly, I don't know how legal or, or illegal it is to do this. I think it's at least in a gray area. This is why I created my own basic web pages to use them as examples. Enough talking, now action. For our first example, I have a web page with a form containing three fields one for nickname, one for age, and a drop down to select the country. If we fill in the details and press uh, send data, it will lead us to a different page where uh, there are another three fields which show what data values are sent from our side. Uh, let's fill it once just to see how it works. So for nickname, I don't know, test user age 12 and country Japan. And now let's send data and we see the page where you have the submitted um, info and we see the nickname is test user the sent age is 12 and the sent country is uh, japan just like uh, we selected now the fun part we'll refresh the page and then go to developer tools okay this is just an example but it can be applied in various situations depending on the available conditions the admin of the website didn't add our country. We see that we have only Japan, USA and Russia. No problem, Mr. Admin. I will add it by myself. Now, we have to go here in Developer Tools in the section where the drop-down menu is found. So, in this form content, we have to go here in this select form. Okay. Now, uh, we can add a new option, Set edit as HTML, and we're going to copy the code from the last option and add a new one. So we'll have, instead of Russia, I don't know, land of hackers. And here I'm going to say again, land of hackers. We somehow save it. And I'm going to change this here and I don't know, I'm going to put 10 and in the country I'm going to select land of hackers send data boom now you see we are able to add a new item here uh, in the drop down menu the land of hackers and when we selected it in the submitted info we have here the item that was available at uh, that point Another way to do this is to edit uh, an existing value. So from our list, we have Japan, USA, Russia. We could have taken any of them and just changed the info and it would have the same um, result. Let's, let's refresh it again. And now, if you want to have some fun, you can change only the values for two of the entries, but not also the name. So let's change the values between USA and Russia. So instead of, you see, I'm going to put Russia here. And instead of Russia, I'm going to change it to USA. Good. Now let's take a player. I don't know, John. John is, John is 12. And John is from USA. Now after we changed these values and we send the data, John is not from USA anymore. John is from Russia. And let's take player Ivan. Ivan is uh, 13 years old. And Ivan is uh, from Russia. Send data. Well, Ivan is not from Russia anymore. Ivan is from USA. This is a page where you select your birth date. It automatically evaluates if you are under 30 or over. And based on this, it shows you what is the price you must pay, either 100 or 50. You were born on 15th of, 15th of August 2006. So let's go to 2006, August and 15. So 
this makes you under 30 see here under 30 radio button is uh, already selected the price for under 30 is 100 and you consider it's not fair so you change it how using developer tools we are going to open again developer tools and we are going to the field that holds the price so in this one content you deep down here in the form and we have this one here see the value is 100 well we're going to edit and put 30 because that's what you consider to be fair and now send data see it tells the information for the birthday 15th of august 2006 you are under 30 but you don't have to pay 100 as it was being said but you have to pay 30 as you actually modified If we check the mean value and the max value available for the date of birth, and we have here in the date, you see that the allowed interval is from 1980 to 2020. You are born in 1978, like jean louis Buffon, my favorite football player. You say you must also be allowed to buy, but you aren't. So you take the matter in your hands. We will change the mean value here uh, from 1980 to 1978 and now we are going to select it from here I'm going to put 1978 and we're going to put uh, January and we're going to put 28 like my favorite football player it says you are 30 or over but you were um, born in a year that wasn't allowed uh, to select before. We're going to send data and see in the sent birthday you have the 1978 year which was previously um, unavailable. Okay and if you want to have some fun and be seen as both child and adult in the same time you can do that. Let's select 2013 as a birth year okay 2013 we're going to keep uh, the same uh, date and month uh, well you are 10 years old now until we change the selected radio button because we go in the radio button section which is here in the radio and we are going to put the 30 of over and over then edit and we are going to set it as checked okay see now we modified the radio button for the age and um, since we are a special case of both child and adult we also modify the price for this and we're going to edit the form field and instead of 100 we're going to put one Send data and see both adult and child in the same time because you are 10 years old but you are considered 30 and over and a very big discounted price one for our final example I have a form precisely a delivery form we select the placed order date and the delivery duration see here the fields with delivery after three five and seven days after this is done, the arrival date is automatically calculated. So I don't know, let's select here 15th of August and three days. You see 15 plus 3, 18th of August 2003. Send data, all the info is, um, all the info is here. Okay. Refresh the page. So we have options for three, five and seven days, but we want to receive the package in four days. And there is no option for this. Well, not yet. But we will make this possible back to developer tools and here the form content and the part for radio we are going to change the value that corresponds for three days delivery and we are going to put it four so we're going to put here instead of three we're going to put four and select three days and now you see 15 plus 3 equals 19 well 
actually equals 18 but we change it to 4 and now it's 19 and the delivery will arrive in four days just like um, just as we wanted so send data and you see here 19th and uh, send delivery duration four days option that was unavailable um, at the beginning uh, let's say you want to receive the package uh, the next day we will select any of the values for delivery days I know, let's say seven days and as expected it will uh, the, the package will arrive um, in one week 22 22nd of um, august but we are going to modify the field that held the arrival date which is this one here and for its value instead of 22nd we are going to put 16th because we want to arrive the next day see it changed here in arrival date send data and you see placed order date 15th arrival date 16th one day the next day just as we wanted in this video, we saw how input data for a website can be manipulated if the validation is not done properly between the client and the server, or not done at all. The examples were quite simple, but you got the point. By the way, hackmeplease.com is not a real domain, or at least not mine. Can you figure out how I made that work? Tell me your answer in the comments. I appreciate you got so far in the video. I hope it was nice and also useful. Let me know in the comments what you liked and what you didn't. And hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy my content. Thanks again for watching this. Honestly, it means a lot for me. And all this being said, see you next time. Bye bye.